All right, so for those of you that don't know, every year I make a video showing you guys how to get the best face scan in NBA 2K, and every year I'm able to help out hundreds of thousands of people. So as you can expect, this year I'm gonna be showing you guys yet again how to get the best possible face scan, but this time in NBA 2K21. If I'm able to help you out at any point in this video, please make sure to leave a like down below. All right, so the very first thing we need to do is we need to download the My NBA 2K21 app. If you're having trouble finding it on your app store, there will be links in the description where you can simply just download it onto your phone. Now, once the app is finished downloading and it's on your home screen, you're gonna open it up, accept the terms and conditions, of course, and then sign into whichever console or platform you play on. Once you're finished signing in, simply click on the face scan icon. Once you click on that icon and accept the terms and conditions again, you'll be given the option of whether you want to complete your face scan using the front facing or the rear facing camera. In this example, I'm just going to select the front facing camera. Now when it comes to actually scanning your face into the game, there's a few things that you need to be aware of. The first thing is that you want to make sure you're removing any type of obstruction from your face. So this includes things like hats, glasses, and sometimes even hair. Another obvious thing is that you want to make sure you have a sufficient amount of lighting. If you're trying to do your face scan in a dark environment, there's no way that the camera is going to pick it up. And even if it somehow does, the results in the game aren't going to be good. The last obvious thing you want to make sure you're doing is slowly moving your head, right? Not the phone. And also making sure that you're looking directly at the camera and not at yourself on the screen. So those are some of the obvious things you need to do in order to get the best possible face scan. But as far as additional tips, as you can see, I'm doing this entire process in my house. Now, if you don't have a decent amount of lighting indoors, what you can do is, you know, on a cloudy day, go outside, preferably in the shade, and try to do your face scan using some of the natural sunlight outdoors. Another thing you can do is if you have a friend who's willing to help you out, have them scan your face using the rear facing camera on your phone. The sensor is usually bigger on the back and this can help produce a slightly higher image quality which will in turn give you better results in game. Now once you've completed your face scan, when you log on to 2K21 and you get to this screen, simply press X on PlayStation or A on Xbox so you can see the final results in game. Now if you don't like how it looks, obviously you can just redo it but you can also mess around with some of the customization options until you're happy with how your player looks. Now if you get an error, which a lot of people people do, I definitely recommend closing the application and restarting it back up in order for your scan to appear. If you've tried that multiple times and it still doesn't work for you, you can also try to redo your scan. A lot of times that fixes the problem for people as well. Other than that, that's pretty much all I have for this video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. If I was able to help you out, make sure you don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also turn on post notifications to know exactly when the next video is uploaded. Adam out.